Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for coming here to watch this one. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom QR code like this one right here. First, I'm gonna take you guys onto my phone and show you how to make the QR code for free. Then I'm going to show you how I sublimate it on this t-shirt. So if you are new to sublimation, this is also a sublimation tutorial. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if you do, give me a big thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe if you guys are new. And if you're not new and you're coming back for this video, Thank you so much for your support. I'm actually just now recording my intro right now. Um, I have already sublimated the shirt, obviously. I did forget to do an intro, so I'm doing that right now. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to do this on your phone just because a lot of people might not have a laptop to do this on. So I'm gonna show you how I made my QR code and you just click on Safari. And I'm just gonna search QR code generator. Then you want to click the button at the top that says sign up. It says create, manage, and track all your QR codes in one. And it is free for 14 days, so I would just get as many as you can. So select your industry, and I'm just going to say personal use because I do have a YouTube channel. So your work email, password, create your password. Agree and sign up now. Then you want to go to your email and activate your account. Click activate. It's going to take you back to the code generator. Then you want to select your QR code type and I'm just clicking personal use. You can put your website link in, your social media coupons, business page, feedback, reading. Since I'm doing our YouTube channel, I will click social media. Now, if you have a store, you can do your website on the top. But today I just wanna show you how I'm gonna do mine. So social media, next. And here you can design and customize choose a color theme and upload an image for your social media page. Since I'm doing it for our YouTube, I do want to do red. Choose image from templates or upload your own. So if you wanna upload your logo or whatever, you can use upload your own. Today I'm just doing a YouTube channel, so I'm not gonna be doing that today. So I'm not gonna be doing a website. If you are making the QR code for a website, you can use a website. I'm going to be removing a website and I'm going to remove Facebook and I'm using the one that's for YouTube. And I just want to put the URL right here. I'm gonna to go to our YouTube channel. I'm gonna click the three dots, share, copy link, back to the generator, and paste the URL. You can edit this right here where it says watch your videos, to subscribe, or whatever you want. But I'm going to be doing watch our videos. And then there's add more. Click on the icon to add a social media profile. And I'm going to be clicking the YouTube button. Then you can display your logo, your page is loading. So if you have a business logo, you can enter it here. I don't really have a business logo for our YouTube channel. It's just our profile picture. So I'm gonna skip that part. And then next. And there is our QR code. Now you can customize it, which I did do. So you can download this or you can go ahead and customize. So I'm gonna click customize. You can select from right here, but you can also customize it and make it look a little more fancy. So on frame, on the right hand corner, you see all frames and they have a bunch of different frame styles that you can use. Restaurants and bars, so if you own like a coffee shop or if you have a customer that's wanting their restaurant or their coffee shop code done, you can do it right here. Really love the one that looks like a phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that one. First, I wanna show you how you can change the frame color and then also change the text. So right now it's black and I'm gonna change it to red. So I changed that to red. And then it also changed it for any of the others. So here's this one in red. Here's the gift one in red. You can keep the frame text as scan me if that's what you like. You can also change it right here. And if you have a store, you can say shop now. It will change the text color on every one of these different frames. But since this is our YouTube channel, I'm gonna go ahead and say scan and subscribe. Okay, and you can see it changed the words. And I really love this phone one. So I'm definitely gonna download that one. So now I want to go ahead and show you how to download any of these. And you can download as many as you want. Since I am trying the 14 day trial, I want to go ahead and download this in a bunch of different colors. And then also download it in a bunch of different frames and different frame texts. I want to download as many as I can before my 14 day trial is up. So I'm gonna click this one. And then you want to scroll down say done. Then you want to go ahead and click download. Download now. 
and then click download and just click the little blue arrow, save image, save image. All right guys, so this is the logo that's gonna go on the front of the shirt. And then on the back, I'm gonna do the QR codes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print this off. Like always, I don't use any fancy software or profiles. So you want to select your image, click File, Print, Epson 15,000, Default Settings, Copies 1, Page Size is going to be Super BA3, 13 by 19. Turn off Auto Rotate, Preview, Media Quality is Best. Layout, you want to flip horizontally so your words are not backward. Paper handling, scale to fit paper size. I go back to preview and I want to make this image a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna to go to scale. I'm gonna take this to 30. So we're gonna try it at 40%. Media quality is at best. And I always double check everything. Print. And I have my press set at 380 degrees and we always press our sublimations for 50 seconds. And in case you were wondering what press we use, we have the 16 by 20 digital swinger and it is the Knights DKS. I also wanted to show you guys how we fold our shirts to get a center crease. It makes it a lot easier to get your image centered on your t-shirt. We like to fold our shirts in half so that the back is in the inside. So like this to the back and then your front is on the outside. You just want to fold your shirt exactly in half. It is a lot easier to do this when it's laying on the press. I don't know if you guys can see, but the inside is sagging to the middle and you don't want this because then you will have a center crease that is not in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on the press and get it centered. I will press it in half so we have that center crease to center our image. And here is my sublimation print. If you guys are new to sublimation, I do want to remind you to make sure to cut off all of the edges, top and bottom. Because if you don't do this, it will leave a line on the top or the bottom on whatever you're pressing. So be sure to go ahead and cut off the top and bottom of your paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top and bottom off. And I'm using my rotary cutter. And like always, I have all the supplies that we use in our videos down in the description. If you're looking for a rotary mat, rotary cutter, sublimation paper, sublimation ink, all of that is going to be linked in the description. And when you guys shop those links, I do get a small commission from Amazon. So I do appreciate anybody that purchases from those links. It's hard for me to cut from this angle. And now I do want to trim off a little bit over here because I am going to fold my image in half to get the center. This side has about an inch. So I'm going to allow an inch on this side. Then you wanna take the image that you are pressing and you want to fold it inside out to get your center crease. And this is not gonna affect your print at all. And now we can match that center crease with the crease on the t-shirt. So you can put the print three to four fingers down from the collar or three to four inches down from the collar. And you can always cut right here above your print so you know exactly where your print starts. I can see through the paper where my print starts, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go from the top of the collar and put my print three inches down. And my print starts right here. So I'm gonna do it right about there. I'm going to center it with my center line that I made earlier. Grab another piece of butcher paper. And you're gonna press for 50 seconds. And I forgot to tell you guys to put a piece of butcher paper inside of the shirt between the front and the back, just so that your print doesn't print to the back of the t-shirt and put a new piece of butcher paper inside of the shirt. We're gonna go ahead and print the QR code and the text that I want on the back of this shirt. Put this inside the shirt like this and grab my print. And this is what I'm putting on the back of the shirt. It just has like our YouTube logo or our YouTube name, The Wesleys, and then DIY tutorials, family blogs, pranks and challenges. And then here is our QR code that we made earlier in this video. And I'll be using the same print settings that I used for the front of the shirt. So just selecting our image, file and print.
On the back, you wanna do five fingers down, or you can do five inches down from the collar. And we're gonna press the back for 50 seconds as well. All right, guys, and that is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy watching. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this t-shirt. Hopefully it was easy for you guys to follow the tutorial. If you guys are new, I hope that you did subscribe. It is free. I hope that you will subscribe, please. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope that we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.